dollars. Play today. Winning numbers, but take five during Eyewitness News at 11. Easy as ABC7. Ian? Lambert. Why are you packing your medical bag? I want to make sure we have enough of everything. Because we're getting out of here. And no argument from you, please. Are you sure this is the right thing for us to do? Yeah, I do. I never thought I'd say this. And God strike me down for saying it now, but rumor has it, there's a vampire roaming around Port Charles. <clears throat> and I'm not taking any chances. So we just run away. My dad taught me how to fight anyone except women and vampires. So here we are. Okay. So we we take this seriously. Yeah. And we, we don't take any chances. So where are we going? I'm gonna go to the one place I know. Enough goodness to protect us all. To Rama Island. Yeah. The only place in the world where our son will be safe. Where we'll all be safe. I hope so. God, I hope so. No, Allison, go to the next one. That's not it. Jack, do you want to do this? Sorry, go ahead. Standing over me isn't going to make this modem going any faster. Okay, well, how many Mason De La Noches can there be? Huh? All right, just hang on, okay? We'll find out what Caleb's got Libby. We will. Wait! Hunch Mo after he turns into some blood sucking killer? Jack, chill. Okay, we've got a complicated program right here running on Lash's equipment. Okay, why don't you go in the alley and pace or something? Break something out there. Look, we're checking all the search engines. All right, if there's a match anywhere on the web, trust me, Ali will find it, okay? It's all running out of time. I can feel it. Look, I've got to get... Ah. Jack, just, just save your energy. You're going to need it for Caleb, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look, I'm going to get some more to eat. Again? Oh, Gals, would you get off my back, please? Did you get some more of those blood packets from the hospital? Yeah. Yeah, they're chilling. Thanks. Hey, Jack, you know, you, uh, you've been putting a lot of that stuff away more and more. So? So? Is, so can your body handle it? Look, how the hell do I know, Jamal? Whoa, whoa, Look, hey, all that I matters just... is me getting strong to fight Caleb. All right, saving Livy's life, that's all that counts. so beautiful. I am so glad that you're here. Thank you. Thank you for the most incredible gift you could give a mother. Oh, and speaking of, of gifts, Caleb left you something. Something special for his bride on a special day. What is it? I don't know. Open it up. Hey. Hey. 
Yeah, I'm hungry, maybe? Haven't had time to think about it. You have to eat. Obviously, things aren't going so well. It's not going at all. <sighs> Caleb could have taken Libby any one of a thousand places, and it would take me days to go through these documents we took from the monastery. It's OK. Uh, I, I, just, I, I think we have some time here. I, I have a feeling about but that. But how much time, Lucy? A week? An hour? What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to find Jack and see if there's anything more to go on. No, you're not. Jack said he would call us. He'd come find us if he had anything. You're not just going to sit. Please. I can't just sit around doing paperwork, Lucy. It's open. Doug. Hi, Victor. Hey. Something terrible. What? I went out this morning to put some flowers on Abe Curlin's grave. But he wasn't there. What? It, it, was, it was all dug up, and, and, and the lid of his coffin had been broken open. And the judge wasn't there. Somebody stole the body? Oh, boy. Oh. No one stole anything, Victor. What do you mean? Abe took off on his own. What? What, what, what are you saying? I think you better sit down, Victor. Uh, and you're going to need some water to drink. I, I don't want some water. What? Well, you need it. Here, take this. <sighs> the rings are exquisite. Wait till you see the bride. You know, I've waited lifetimes for the perfect moment, the perfect woman to have a family with. And having you join our extended family has made this an even happier day, Judge Curlin. Thank you, Caleb. I performed thousands of weddings in my time, but I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this one. You sure you're up to it? I've never felt better, especially for a dead man. You know, it's it's nice to know that death is just a, a figure of speech in our world, isn't it, Judge? Hey, sweetheart, any luck? How's Jack? Is he doing any better? No, no, not in my opinion. Anything new? No, no. Oh, Jack. <sighs> Please, will you? What? What, what, the, what the hell's your problem? Why don't you slow down a little bit? You're starting to guzzle this stuff. Hey, Jamal, I know. The more I drink, the stronger I get. Look, I know yeah, that. It's all you... about Libby now. I know, but you can't keep guzzling Look, this stuff. Jamal, if I keep drinking this, I'll be able to handle Caleb. Okay. I gotta save Libby's life. Okay, okay, okay. What? Yes. What? I gotta... Mason de la noche. Mama, it's already perfect. Come on. Oh, just, just one more time. There. Oh, Vivi. No. Mama, don't. Please, not again. Don't worry, I won't. It's, it's just that I, I am so happy. I think this is what I always wanted for you. To find a wonderful man that, that would keep you safe, give you everything you ever wanted, and more to love you beyond your dreams of true love. Oh, sweetheart, it's all right there, just waiting. You go out there and you grab it and you hold on tight and never let go. You, you hear me? Yes. Mama, I hear you. And you promise me that? I do, I promise. Happiness forever, huh? I love you. I love you too, baby. Well... <laughs> Time, uh, your new life, eternal love. <laughs> There isn't a woman in all the world with even half your beauty, half your soul, beyond my wildest dreams. You sure you're ready? If you'll have me. There's just one more thing. You need to know before we can start. For you to be my wife, 
for us to live together through the ages, bound as one in an everlasting covenant. You must become as I am. As you are. For that to happen, you must leave your world and enter mine. It's time for you to come to me, Olivia. It's time for you to cross over to the other side. The other side? Look at me. Look into my eyes. Are you sure you understand what I'm saying? Understand? Of course, my love. You're telling me I must die. Everyone else did. But the evidence was all around me. Evidence? What evidence? Abe! Abe! Everything he did, everything that happened to him from the moment he came in from the woods. I should have been able to see the symptoms. From where? Old movies? No, from the time I was stationed in Eastern Europe. You heard a lot of stories. We all did. But, of course, no one would admit believing any of them, except I always thought all of the locals all telling the same stories. There's got to be some truth that... My God! Vampires in Port Charles? Yep. And the worst kind. What kind is that? The out of their minds kind. The worst of it is, Victor. He has Livy. What? He's Look! Lured, he's lured her off somewhere. To kill her? To marry her. Well, we, 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 we've got to find her. Well, we're open to suggestions. I mean, what did the villagers in Eastern Europe do when they had to crash a vampire wedding? Uh, Doc, I, uh, I have something I, I've been needing to tell you. Um, something of about the wedding you really need to know. What? In order for Livy to be Caleb's bride, he has, he has to turn her. Y you mean into a vampire? Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Not to my granddaughter, not while I can do anything about it. Doc. What you're saying to me is that my daughter's wedding is actually her funeral. Is that it? So if we don't find them and stop them, Libby will die. Are you sure I can't help you carry some of that? Oh, for the last time, I got it. Okay. Wow. Just doesn't seem like we stay in one place for very long, does it? Gather no moss, Lambert. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind a little bit of moss. I mean, who knows when we'll ever be back here. If we'll ever even come back here. It doesn't matter where we are, as long as we're together. In a place where there's no danger for a child. Right. Because I can't lose this baby, Ian. I will not lose another baby. Don't even think that way. Trust me. Just believe in me, okay? I'll take care of you, both of you. I promise. Whatever it takes. I love you so much. <laughs> I'll do whatever I have to to be with you, Caleb. I trust you. And no harm will ever come to you, Olivia. Or the child I've chosen to be ours. The child? Dying is a is a word used by people who don't understand the possibilities. It's a sad and ordinary souls. It's the end. But to the extraordinary, it's just the beginning. A second birth. With one last breath, we're born again into a new and vibrant way of life, filled with power and knowledge, with all senses working at the highest level. of the stars playing softly in your ears. The stars. And our minds will merge at will. And we'll whisper in ways that humans can never imagine. Yes. Please. 
But to walk by my side, Olivia, you must say goodbye to this mortal life. You must surrender to a peaceful sleep. But when your blood mixes with mine, you'll wake up in a world where anything is possible. And we'll be soulmates. You and I. Forever. Soulmates. And the child I've chosen to be with us will join us soon. A beautiful infant soul. Reborn into our family. Our child. it and me with your own free will you must make your choice now do you want to be one with me if you do say it aloud from the depth of your soul is it your wish to spend all eternity with me yes yes Caleb with all of my heart Oh, never mind, spread it out. Let's go. Where's it at? Oh, no. What's taking so long? Well, it's not exactly around the corner. Meaning what? Meaning it's up in the mountains, upstate. Oh, damn! No, look, it's okay, though. We, I'll just call Nana and she'll give us the mountain plane. I'll get her to the Jack, please! No, stay back, Ellie. It's, Jack! It's gonna get to her before we have a chance to get to Livy. Just, just, oh, no. just, just, stop, stop. I'm not gonna let Caleb get to Livy. No. Stop. No! Jack. No! Oh, my God. You got everything, Lambert? Uh, yeah, just let me grab my purse. Okay, grab it and let's go. I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. Last thing we need is for trouble to walk in the door, so we're walking out. All right. Oh. What's the matter? Oh! Honey, it's the baby. Oh, it's just too hold soon. Hold on, you're okay. It's all right. Too soon. Just relax. Oh, God. And the baby. Honey, I won't lose this baby. I can't right. lose this baby. Oh, I'll take you there, bro. Oh. Come on, let's go. Oh, Don't no. Don't move. Hold on. Victor. What? Okay. The agency has put us on the grid, code blue. It's just a matter of time. But we're out of time. No, no, I, I don't think so, not yet. Lucy, how does anyone know? How can well, anyone this, know well, that? This is the most sophisticated electronic surveillance system in the world. It's the only way to find Livy quickly enough Kevin, to... Lucy. Jamal, uh, listen, what? What? It's Jack. What about Jack? He disappeared right in front of us. What? Yeah. Yeah, right after we figured out where Livy was. What, what, you what? <gasps> yeah, okay, listen, Kevin, you should have seen it, though. His eyes, they got all red and... Allison, and be quiet. Talk to me. You know where Libby is? Yes, that's why we're here. Okay, look, the pilot, he already has Wait, wait, back up. What, what do you mean the pilot? The, where the are plane, you going? The plane, we, we called Nana. She's going to let us borrow it. We're taking the bearing. No, plane. no, you're not. Kevin, Kevin, it's too dangerous. Ahead. You two stay here with Victor and Lucy. She's my daughter. But she's my best friend. I'm not friend. going to argue about this with you. You're staying here. You got it? And that means you, Jamal. I'm going alone. No. Lucy? The heck you are. Douglas, you know how I am when I get like this. I am going with you. We are going together. Fine, if we're going, let's go. All right. Come on. We gather in the twilight to celebrate the coming together of two souls committed to be one, entwined for all eternity. Caleb and Olivia, you are the bone, flesh, and heart, which will soon be creating a new family unit. You enter joyfully into this covenant. My honor and duty and pleasure it is to join these fated souls as willing wife and husband through this life and the many lives and generations which will follow. 
If there be anyone who would object to this union, speak now or eternally hold your peace. Living! Living! Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, Tainted Love. On the next Port Charles. I know what's going on. I'm losing my baby. Well, I can give you the kind of power that no one can take away from you. Eternal power. You're going to have to kill me. Because I'm not leaving here without Libby. Jillian won't accept that death has pulled her from Ryan. Will she find a way to reconnect? Today on All My Children. Think there's not enough excitement on TV? Oh! Hey, don't say that to Wayne Brady. Just the first show. The Wayne Brady Show starts Wednesday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Do you know?